we are uh, just happy to see each and every one of you today. And I have a word I want to share with you. Right. Amen. I have a word I want to share with you. It's good when the preacher is excited about the word, isn't it? <laughs> I want to talk to you today from this subject, getting myself in shape for my shell. I said, getting myself in shape for my shell. Shell is mentioned in the Bible more than 9,000 times. Shell, shell, a strong assertion on a promise, a command on the veracity of, the, of a thing being in force. We shall overcome. Shell is listed in the Bible over 9,000 times. So you can be assured of the fact that I have had to make this sermon deliberately short. For if I were to attempt the 9,000 shells, yeah, and all that. <laughs> Amen. Y'all been going to come back next Sunday, maybe. Is he still up there shelling? Amen. <laughs> Getting myself in shape for my shell. The unique thing about shell is that shell takes a thing and places it into the present to be manifest in the future. It is used to express what is inevitable. So whenever we say shall, we are certain the fact that it is inevitable. And even though it is going to be manifest in the future, I receive it as now. Amen. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Because the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He shall be like a tree that's planted by the rivers of the water. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. I have to get in shape for my shell, though. Because my shell says, I believe unequivocally without a shadow of a doubt, even though it's not manifest as of yet, I have pulled it, I have commanded, I have put an assertion on it and brought it to my now. Yeah. Amen. Now are we the sons of God. And it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that hath this hope in him does what? Purifies himself even as he is pure. Which means I have to get in shape for my shell. Amen. The Lord say, I shall heal you. I don't care if you feel the pain. Amen. Shall means I have to thank him for it right now. It's inevitable. It's going to manifest itself. How many remember the old song? I'm just about through. Believe that or not. You said you saying to yourself, I shall see. Yeah, I'm just about through. I get in shape for my shell. Yeah. How many remember the old saints used to sing the song, I shall not be removed? Yeah. I shall not be removed. Yeah. Just like a tree that's planted by the waters, I shall not be removed. And in this brief message, I just came by to help you get in shape with your shell. Yeah. Came to tell you that you shall live yeah. and not die. <laughs> Come on here and declare the ways or the works of the Lord. The reason why I have to get myself ready for the shell, I believe that I'm going to have to answer one day to the shell that God put in the Bible as his promises. His promises are yea and amen. And the Lord is going to ask me one day, I put shell in the Bible for 9,000 words of the word shall and you shall not know what it was. What those shells are, I was just getting ready to go start my journey. Sometime I would do an entire journey through the Bible. I would read the entire Bible. But now I got some stopping points. I got some stations to stop by. I got to stop by them shells. Not shell. <laughs> shell. Yeah. Amen. Amen. For the Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I fear? They that shall have the mindset of the Lord. He says, when I come, I'm going to gather my people. And they shall be mine. 
The Lord has already declared. He's already to that level of shall. When he says it shall be, it shall be. When he tells us that we shall not do this, we shall not do it. Because to him it already is. But I've got to get in shape for my shell. Things that God has said is inevitable. Amen. But you can lose it, amen, if you don't do what you should do with the shell. Is that right? We shall behold him one day. Face to face in all of his glory. But you've got to continue to stay in shape for your shell. Come on, say praise the Lord. Come on, say praise the Lord. So, Lord, here's what I want to ask of you today to bless the saints every time they walk, run by that word shell in the Bible. Help them to get in shape for their shell. How many of you have some things the Lord has promised you? That was kind of like a might be praise. Come on, how, how many have some things the Lord has promised you? It shall come to pass. So what we need to start doing is getting ready, getting in shape for our share. Hallelujah. He that spared not his own son, how shall he not freely give us all things? Amen. If God is for us, who shall be against us? Getting ready for Michelle. Are you getting ready for your shell? <laughs> Are you getting in shape for your shell? I ask the Lord what kind of ways that I can begin to get in shape for my shell. He says, let my praises come out of your mouth at all times. I will bless the Lord how often? At all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. And God told me, check yourself now. See what you're saying. Because death and life are in the power of the tongue. What are you saying? What are you talking about? And it's all right for us to get certain things out. It's all right for us to express toxicity that we need to get out and have someone to be a listening ear. But we got to be careful how we repeat those things. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Because what's coming out of your mouth is going into your future. And since it's going into my future, let me go ahead on and grab for it right now. If you have a trip that you're looking forward to going on, is that right? Maybe two, three weeks from now. The best way to position yourself for that trip is to consider your shall position. I shall start packing. I shall start saving money. I don't want to go on the trip and be broke. I shall leave my number in contact with only a few people. I shall, I shall. Amen. Come on now. I shall, I shall. Getting in shape for my shell. And if God said, now this is, I'm just throwing it out because this, this is me. Amen. There was one time I was in the upper 200s. My sister asked me, hey, what's up? I said, let me tell you what's up. Yeah, up to about 200 and, and I ain't going to tell you what the and was. Amen. But I told myself, I shall be at such and such by such and such time. But guess what I had to start doing? I had to start walking. And when my body says, I don't want to walk, I say to my body, you shall. Come on here now. And since we walk by faith and not by sight, we have to get in shape for our sham. And I don't know all the things the Lord has spoken to you, talked to you about, but let me tell you something that I want you to know that even the youth shall faint and utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord, see, I'm through already. Amen. Because you're, you're going to help me examine this. You're going to help me go through the word of God and pick out your sham. But I love this one that says, they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Get in shape for my shall. I want you to stand to your feet today. See, you thought I shall not be through by now, but I shall, I shall, I shall. Come on, let's give God a praise as you get in shape for your shall. Come on, get in shape for your shell. Hey, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for thinking enough of us to put thousands of promises in the word. That we live by your word. Your word is affirmative. Your word is assertive. Your word has a command on your promise. 
Hallelujah. God, help me to get in shape. Help my emotions to become strengthened. Help me to put myself in the word of God. Everything else is going down but the word of God. Whatever the word of God said has come to pass, it shall come to pass. And so I get ready. I get in shape for my shell. God, thank you for the promises you've spoken to your people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Many times in their rough times, in their low times, you spoke to them in a still small voice and you affirm what you're going to do. You manifested and then you're shown by our testimonies. What you said, it shall come to pass. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yesterday, I just shared this with the evening of my prayer. I went up on the property up there just to walk around and have, have my camera and my prayer and my shell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I went out there to, just to talk to the Lord about the shell. And he said, it shall come to pass. And hallelujah. Hallelujah. I rode up there and Minister Nelson was up there. He shall be cutting the grass. Amen. He was on the, on the lawnmower. Amen. Mowing down the shell. Come on, say hallelujah. How many believe it shall happen? Come on, let's get in shape for your shell. Come on, let's get in shape for your shell. And I want to tell you today, that's all the Holy Ghost tell me, told me to tell you. Get in shape for your shell. The Holy Ghost is going to remind you of the things that he's promised you. The Holy Ghost is going to make it true. He's promised those things for your family. And the devil has told you it probably ain't. That's how the devil come here. Did God say it? You have to be able to say, he shall. He shall. He shall. He shall. Whatever he promised, he shall perform. And God, we give you praise today on the shell. Come on. Come on. Give God praise. Come on. Come on. Give God praise on your shell today. Hallelujah, it shall come to pass. Hallelujah, it shall come to pass. I shall live and not die. Hallelujah, I shall be a millionaire. Hallelujah, I shall have good health. Hallelujah, it shall come to pass. Amen. Thank God for the word this morning. Amen. Shall life and death is in the power of the tongue. Speak those things as though they are. You can speak things to exist and things. Speak it in existence. Hallelujah. It shall come to pass. Hallelujah. If you believe it. If you believe it. Amen. We just thank God. You may be seated at this time. Amen. Thank God for the word. Hallelujah. Thank God for the word this morning. It shall. Shall. That means with conviction. That means it without a shadow of a doubt. That's what the word shall mean without a shadow of a doubt. It will 